Okay, hey, good afternoon, guys. It's uh, Will Kenish up in Steamboat Springs. I am in 2700 Eagle Ridge Drive, uh, unit S32. And um, cool, cool little place. It's in better shape than I expected. And give you a quick here tour here. Um, so in the kitchen, uh, kitchen has granite slab countertops, uh, stainless steel appliances. It's got a, a big black backsplash also out of granite slab. The cabinets are uh, maple cabinets. And cabinets all look like they're mostly in good shape. These uh, lower cabinets have some issues. Looks like there's some peeling on that so might be time for a little sand and, and clear coat on that. Um, and then around the room you got a Great room type of concept. So uh, dining space here, you've got room for stools if you wanted to put in like a, a bar seating. Newer light fixtures, fans in each of the rooms. And then they do have a TV here. It's not like a built-in TV. Uh, it's on a, uh, on a dresser, um, but it's a nice big screen. The person that's here now is, um, this is more of like a permanent resident. It's not a short-term rental property based on the stuff. Like they've got a thousand CDs here and vinyl uh, records. So a little different uh, vibe, but you can tell music is important to him. He's got his guitar rack over there and micro suede cabinet or couches, oak. Um, coffee table and then the way the room the the way the place is set up is over here on the other side of the kitchen so is the front door front door you walk in first uh, first door um, to the left is a coat closet decent sized coat closet uh, it's much deeper than it would appear I mean it's a regular depth closet but it goes it goes back an extra couple of feet. So here's the entrance. The entrance has like a mudroom type setup when you first walk in, rack on the wall for coats and helmets and things like that, and tile on the floor for uh, your ski boots. The carpeting, carpeting is mostly in good shape, but you can see over here, it looks worse in the video than it does in person, but there's some uh, obvious traffic patterns around the kitchen. But other than that, it seems like it's in pretty decent shape. Might be able to be cleaned up. Um, here's the first bedroom. Bedroom on the right. They've got it set up with a, uh, a king-size bed. A uh, large bed in that space. Little traditional closet over here with a single bifold door. And then here they've got it set up with a TV for this room. And then it has an attached bath. So this would act as the master since it has an in-suite bath. Um, interesting little uh, cabinet here. So it's set up on a corner with a mirror that is right there at an angle. And then it's got a nice big window letting in the, the light here. Um, views from this window are pretty cool because uh, as you can see, that's the big mountain right through there. Um, you can see the, you might not be able to see it, but that is the, the gondola um, right in front of us. So in the bathroom, they've got uh, six by six white tiles and kind of a little trim, trim deco that goes around. Looks like it's in good shape. They have a, could, could use a little new caulking on the very edge there, but generally in good shape. Paint looks like it's all in good order. Here's the... Uh, uh, fixtures in the bath, nothing fancy here. Here's a fixture in the um, bedroom. This is a newer ceiling fan just based on the patina style finish. We'll go into the great room again. And then as soon as you come out of the first bedroom to the right is uh, the second bath. This is the main bath. So you got your vanity, large mirror, stool and then uh, 
for the, the shower. They've got regular six by six white tiles with a little trim detail that creates a, a band right around the eye level. And then they have a stackable washer and dryer in, in that first bathroom. So there's that. Going through to the next space, uh, you've got the secondary bedroom here. And in the secondary bedroom, they've got it set up with bunks, uh, like a queen size bed underneath and a, and a twin above. Again, TV in here. This one is, as you can see, set up um, hanging from the wall. And then cabinetry. And closet hope I'm not going too fast and making you guys dizzy hopefully you can keep up <laughs> so going back out you would ask me to show you the deck um, so this deck has a grill on it uh, I'm hopeful that the HOA allows that the the deck itself in this space is about six foot by eight foot and then it has like a little leg that goes out and around and then they've got another space over here so you could like set up, uh, set up your grill over here and like a bistro or something, bistro table and chair over here. And then, so this is the view from, from the deck. And you can see uh, the road right down below. This is facing to, towards the, basically towards the north if you were to go to the right, you'd see the mountain, but we can't quite see that from the deck. You can see it. It is a corner unit, so you can see it from the other uh, spaces that are around the corner. And then, if you guys know the area, um, let me see. Right in the middle of the screen, you can see that white uh, tanker or whatever that is. That is the Meadows parking lot, and it's much closer than it appears in the video, but that is how close you are. I'm sorry, that's not the Meadows. That's the Knowles parking lot, which is the upper parking lot where you can walk to the resort. So from this area, you, you could walk. If you have, with little kids, it would be a long walk, but if you um, if you got teenagers or your troopers, you could, you could easily walk, and then there's also a, a shuttle that would be right around the corner. So, a uh, quick scan again, kitchen, dining, living, here's the TV, but it is not a built-in, he'd likely be taking that with him. And so, that wraps up our tour, hopefully you guys like it. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a buzz. Talk to you soon.